Hello Power Users, welcome to my refreshed office and today I want to answer a lot of questions about text input formatting in galleries because I've already created a video about text input formatting which I strongly advise you to, to check before we, we get on further but it's it if you are familiar with Power Apps probably you will get all the points which you need in this video so after a lot of questions i've got the input that nobody this uh, solution is not working in the gallery well of course it, it doesn't because it was made based on the the variable the context variable and we need to do it without the context variable just with the gallery and with updating so let's go with the flow <laughs> go with the flow lol uh, let's start and and I will show you how to do it properly. Okay, basically, so this is what you want to achieve. You want to have a text input with your formatting properly covered. So if I will go something and go and just change the, the number, then I will be I will update my item and then I will also have this clear formatting in here, which, which will look simple and it will look understandable. So let's start. Let's go and create a first a new screen. Let's go and insert some kind of a button here just to create our collection. And on select of this button, we want to have a, let's create a simple collection. Let's clear, collect that text input formats. And let's do it. Oops, clear, collect. Okay, so we will have just two items. Let's do it right now. And next, we will create a gallery just for this gallery, vertical gallery. Let's go with collections, which we have. Let's create, let's have the collection, which we had. We don't need this one. We will, this item, item name, this item name. Mm -hmm. Let's have in here insert a label. Let's have this item number just to check our our solution. And now what we want to do is we want to create a text input, of course, which in which we will store this number. So this number is, is just here to validate our solution. And let's go. And we need two things. First of all, we need to set the default to look pretty. And then we need to also create a changes when we change this item. So let's start from the default. In the default, we want to have like First of all, we want to have the value of our number, right? So we want to have the value and we want to have this item number. Then we want to have our, our format. So I've already talked this in another video of mine how we can set the, the the format but for now we will set as it is as follows let's use it the comma here to separate each three numbers and at the end i want to have the dot so i add the dot and the two zeros so i will format it like this And as you can see, we our compilator already seen this solution and it, it's updated. So this, depending on which country you are from, you will either use the 
the dot or the comma at the end. This is important. You can also have create a kind of list of those uh, of those um, comma and the dot used between your different languages, different sorry, different locals. This is a topic for a lar much larger discussion. But for now, we, we are assuming that we are in the USA and we are using this as a standard. But if you are in the different country, then if you are using operating in one country, you may use the comma. And if you are using the multiple language, not languages, but multiple nationalities in your in your corporation, then you might need to tweak this up to, to, to check what's your country and to set a list where the dot or the comma is used. Then you will need to create an if function before this text. So we have already the the default okay but we need to change it and we've on, on change we have nothing right so we need to also update update this on change property of ours and here let's go on change so on this change property we will use we'll just need to update our data source right so in our case our data source is our collection it also will work for the sharepoint etc you will just need to have a number in the sharepoint we have also a number column so we will just update this number column and we will do it with the update function let's go with the collection and let's use our collection let's check what's our item in case of gallery this could be this item because we are in in the scope of our current item but it, you can also if you want to specify something different because your situation is different then you can use the lookup function which we can look up your data source you will have to check you just show the the line in your data source and then you will need to create all the updates which we are do, going to do now because we are updating our number and we just need to create our value from our text input. So we will use the value option and we will just use the text input, which is, I forgot, text input three, text input, input three dot text. So this will, of course, transfer to change the number in our collection. Uh, I forget this was the different parentheses. <laughs> And yeah, and it should work. It should work, I think, correctly. As you can see, we've already updated our collection. That means that our number was changed and we also updated our, our text input. Now, for the Euro part, you have two options here. Let's go to the default. You have two options here. Either you can allow those your users to use the text which is not really recommended i think but if you want you can you can allow your users to use the text if you are allowed this uh, this using the number here then let's see what happens i will need to change oh, sorry you can i will need to change everything but you can still have in your data source the, the value because we are using the, just the euro sum. Of course, if you are using the different, uh, different currency or your currency is fluctuating between the different countries, then you can use a variable or you can use a, a function which will set your euro here and instead of using the hard-coded euro you can go with with this this and just use your variable currency right it will be indexed of course 
Okay, so sorry, not one, but two, right? But var our variable is, of course, not recognized. So this is one option that you have. Uh, other option, which I would recommend more, is just lowering this text uh, I put, uh, input. <laughs> I put lol. And then go with the label. In this label, you can use the URA. Label, yeah, the text. What's the problem? Okay, we have a text. With URA. Oh, I keep forgetting those. <laughs> yeah. And we can just use it after our currency and this will format here and if you format it correctly you will see you will see your value. Yeah, so those are those are the options for the Euro part. Okay, so hope that the, this solution was spot on and helped you with your problems. And yeah. Subscribe, like, of course, and share the knowledge for free. Uh, if you like this video, you can, you can also recommend it to other colleagues, etc. And see you later, Zbigniew Fukowski out.